program in this video I will show you how you can manage your monthly bill payment you need to manage your budget monthly in uh, more detail because if you see there are many of spreadsheets that you can use where you can track your budget and fill the real but they are all based on month not based on day and there are no balance daily balance uh visualization that you can uh see to track how your financial situation at particular time here you can put you can see you can plan for one year and you can put your recurring payment income and expenses only by typing once for example here there are two tables here table that you have to fill where, oh, where the Excel formula will summarize all your input into a, uh, uh, into a calendar chart where you can see uh, if the balance is positive uh, then uh, you can Uh, where you can see if your finance situation is good or not. This is still yellow because there is no input here. And also you can all see all of your input map in this calendar. But there are maximum only six items that can be shown here. Monthly, you can use this preference by printing this and put it in a place where you can access it. Uh, easily. Okay. Also, how, how to uh, type it? In the income, maybe you can type your salary and then loans and then other income. We receive salary at the 25th, loan at the 25th, other income may be random too. Yeah. Okay, the amount maybe you can type other in from two maybe six or five maybe and the amount of salary will be fifty thousand allowance maybe thousand other income just fifty five you see there are table exception table here uh, when you type this basically this input will be shown automatically at every date that you specify. For example, here every uh, second of month, there are other income you will receive. You can see February here and so on. So, what about if there exists an exception? You can put exception, for example, if the salary because maybe 20, maybe say 25th. February salary and allowance on Sunday. You need to shift it or to either to Friday or to Monday. Or maybe I can put it 26, 26, but you still need to type it again. Type it again. In January. Oh, I'm sorry, it's in February. Sorry. So there is still 26. So for other income, maybe you want to shift it as well, but the amount, the amount is also change six hundred. And also you already predict that other income only for because of the income only last for two months and then for March until the end of December you won't get it anymore so you can put a cross in here just to make sure that this number won't be uh, summarized you can see is it here January, February, March, April you will see here this automatically a sum up uh, the amount of income for month. 
is 4,750 and Okay, for expenses, you can, oh, for category and subcategory, this is optional. Okay, for expenses, I think um, it will be uh, quicker if I put, I just copy the data. Okay, I'll copy the data. This is all this data will be required as you, if you can see in January now it's complete and you can see the balance here. Also in the year summary visualization you can see all the balance are red. What does it mean? It means that you don't have enough money to pay all of your bills, to pay all the expenses. You can see also here the, the balance itself is negative, the cumulative balance of course become negative. But uh, before to, to, to modify some numbers, I will tell you this also will be useful, useful if you want to plan your budget for something, for example vacation. You only doing maybe once or two for example 50,000 you plan to have vacation in July and December so you could cross here in July and then only two months so it will come four thousand correct yes. so but if you only pay something like gym, gym membership one you can also type directly for example you need to pay on december seven december and the amount is one thousand So you can see how it goes in December. December, you pay the key numbers once on week of seven. Then November, you can see there is no year. So only one. After you put this, you can try to check the visualization here. As you can see, I put some value here above and below 100. So it's above 100, 100 years tall, so it become, the date will become blue, but if it falls below 100, it will become red. You can change the amount here, but as you can see here, you need to to manage to plan your budget more detail here if you see even though it's the bulk positive but the recurring I mean the flow of payment is still negative so we need to add Can see as you can see this is positive but why this is negative I told you because it is based on dates if you see here the last day is blue means the sum between income and expenses basically is positive but you need to manage the date where you have your money and you emit uh, your payment and uh, when you need when you pay your expenses 
Why is profit loss? Profit get your salary at 25th, that's why you become 25. So if you have balance here, you can put initial balance here to see if okay now it's all it become blue. So you don't have to worry about the date here because the date is uh you can uh you can live with this number. If you put the balance is negative here, basically this balance is only uh, compare income and expenses at particular month. But this is based on the cumulative. As you can see here, the cumulative stay positive. But on July, you see that it's negative. Because uh, you plan to vacation in July and your income your expenses, I mean, is, is larger than your income. But it's still positive. At the end of this year, you will have at least about 4,710 that you can save in your bank account. I think it's, it's very simple spreadsheet. You can go to the Excel template.net site to download and try the demo version of this spreadsheet. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.